This phone can take a slam. All right, guys, we're back with another one. And this is my last word review of the LG G6. And here we have it. This is the LG G6. This is the comeback phone for LG. The LG G5 with its modular build did not make the cut when it came to the consumers and LG. So LG kept it simple this year by making a phenomenal phone and keeping it simple. This is an excellent phone, especially for the new price on T-Mobile of $500. This is a flagship phone at a price around mid-range. G6 logo, fingerprint scanner, you got two 13 megapixel camera, one regular, one wide angle, and you have a two-tone flash. That's on point. 5.7 inch screen, 1440p, and you got these little bezels. Bezel-less displays is the thing for this year. And LG nailed it. Nice colors. Pretty good brightness. Looks good. You got the nice metal build, volume keys. You got expandable memory. You got the speaker, Type C. You got dual microphones. And you have your headphone jack. This is an incredible phone, incredible build. Way to go, LG. There's a lot of scratches around the camera housing. This cannot be the same glass because the Gorilla Glass has been holding up pretty good even though there's no real scratch on it. But I don't know if it's going to hold up. But this panel got a lot of little hairline scratches. This phone may not be as durable as the LG V10 or V20 but it got some military standards going on. This phone can take a slam. It is a durable phone. It is well constructed. This phone can take a bang or two, but I wouldn't go crazy with it. If you're watching content, there is no button to expand the screen. So you got the bar here you got the black bar here and the black bar here i think that takes away about two inches up and down so 5.7 means you're going to be actually watching your content on 5.4 inch screen and that's an issue to me so looking at the phone just like this you're taking advantage of the full real estate of 5.7 inches but in actuality, watching video, you're losing four inches of space. That's a problem to me. And that is one of the downfalls that I find with this. One port, you cover it up. It's an okay speaker. Now when we're talking about this front facing camera, LG has continued with this five megapixel camera and it's a good one. You got the regular, you got the wide angle in the front. It is on point where you could take a regular selfie or a wide angle selfie. They're pretty good. Let's take a look at a couple of pics. Now, when we talk about the rear camera, LG has done a good job with the rear camera. The pics are okay. They're not up to LG V10 or V20 standards, but they're definitely right up there with the rest of the pack. 
I think it's pretty good. Let's take a look at the couple of picks that I was able to take. When you talk about those pictures, they look good, they're definitely passable, they're on point, the wide angle camera really makes a difference. But they're not up to LG V20 standards. You have to expect that. Now, when it comes to battery life, battery life, I did a full battery life review, you can check that out. But I'll say this, this is definitely a phone that utilizes fast charges features. This phone charges up pretty fast and I'm impressed by that. The battery life, you know on LG phones, battery life are not really blowing anybody out the park. This is a decent battery life. It'll get you through your shift and a little bit more. Four gigs of RAM is proper for this phone. Snapdragon 821, no it's not the latest processor, but why are we fighting over processor speeds? All these main processors, the 820, 821, 835, those are fast processors and it's enough for this phone. This phone is keeping it basic and that Snapdragon 821 is pretty zippy coupled with the four gigs of RAM, you're not gonna have any issues with the experience of using the phone. This phone comes down with the latest version of Android, which is good. It's gonna get some updates. It's is on. this a phone you should get? Most definitely. Especially with the price being lowered to $500, I suggest all carriers take notice at T-Mobile $500, this is a steal. I would say get it right now. But don't expect any big bells or whistles. This is a basic phone at a good price. Aside from the issues with the screen not being able to expand, that may be fixed in a software update. Maybe the apps gotta catch up to that 18.9 screen ratio. But for right now, don't expect to take advantage of that wide angle 5.7 inch screen at this time. You have a fantastic phone at a fantastic price and I definitely recommend it. The LG G6 is on point.